Hello, my legion. Hey, uh, that crows are so you might hear some crows in this review too, maybe. Sound pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, uh, today I'm reviewing Hormel's Chili Cook-Off Chipotle Chicken Chili. It says, chili with beans made with dark chicken, smoke, cal uh, smoke flavoring added. Now, uh, for most people, uh, Chipotle is not... Uh, a type of pepper what chipotle is is a smoked jalapeno and they call it a chipotle and uh, I'm gonna find out if it's any good and this one's nice it just has the uh, removable can like that now usually uh, hey YouTube usually if I set my camera down it's because I need both hands and stuff like that just so you know Oh, YouTube, I love you. YouTube. Whoop. Crows. YouTube, why don't you ever call? YouTube, why don't you ever whisper sweet nothings in my ear? But in my case, why don't you ever whisper sweet somethings in my ear? <laughs> okay, back to the future view. See, I'm, I'm slowly losing my mind. By video 500, I'll probably be completely nuts. Now, this is what the... Then you just see the broth in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoon of the chili right here and try it. Hmm, that's really good. And good heat. I I make my own homemade chili too, but I wanted to try this canned stuff. Hmm. That is excellent. Hmm. Also, this stuff is very much worth getting. The Chipotle chicken, Hormel's chili cook-off. Also, I want to give a shout-out to Patrick Barton also. I watched your uh, tomato, corn, and okra soup. That looked really good. I thank you for what you said about me also. And I was checking on some of your comments on my other videos. Thanks for all your kind stuff you said about uh, rather watching... My reviews and anything on Food Network or Cooking Channel, that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. And I felt bad for Ric Flair, too, on Wife Swap. You know, I can understand. I mean, you know, it's just scary to spend so much money and like that. Whoa, look at those. Spending so much money like that. I love that part when, uh, well, it was an awesome episode. I like that part when they were making that meatloaf. When Roddy Piper said, and that, and that pampered wife of but she was a nice lady of uh, uh, Rick Flair made that meatloaf for the very first time and Roddy Piper said I was a fan I I'm a big fan of meatloaf and he goes it's not anymore <laughs> that was awesome also they sent me home early the bastards so that's why I'm able to make some videos I was at McDonald's I had the Chipotle uh, I mean uh, uh, habanero burger again but I mean I did two reviews of that uh, I'm not gonna do any more reviews of this but they gave me this uh this was in the uh, uh, tray, and there was a cool picture of a giant habanero I'm going to use for thumbnail next time I do anything habanero related. And it says, habanero pepper. It started as an idea to combine the perfect amount of spice with creamy ranch and thick cut bacon to give the bacon habanero ranch quarter pound or a bite of its own. But as it turned out, it was merely the start of a taste of epic proportions. What followed was the deluxe and bacon and cheese to offer a whole new line of quarter pounder sandwiches stacked high with incredible ingredients like red onion american cheese crinkle cut pickles get extra pickles people and more all added to the juicy quarter pounder patty and topped with a bakery style bun these creations were meant to satisfy any hunger craving any time and have allowed us to proclaim that we've topped the quarter pounder now the weird thing is these are all nutritional facts the quarter pounders aren't on here. They still have the Angus bacon and cheese Angus, and they don't make those anymore. They have they have to. It's weird they updated this, but they didn't update this. But oh, well. but I mean your soup looked really good, there, Patrick. I had to try it. I'm gonna wash it down with Diet Mountain Dew. I like these. I like this design on here too. I wonder what these little green things. These are like little mountains and stuff going up in there. Let me open that up. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'll have a little bit more of this. I got a couple more things I'm going to do back to back since I'm home early. 
Mm. It's really good, that canned chili. I make my own chili too, but homemade chili, but homemade chilies cook off uh, serious chipotle chicken is very good. Until next time, take care of my legion.